Okay, so uh, welcome to the bonus video. Yeah, uh, if you are still watching this video, then uh, I thank you beforehand. Yeah, because uh, I think uh, you have some uh, hidden passion. Yeah, uh, on learning Unity. Yeah, so <coughs> uh, let's continue here. Yeah, so for example, uh, I have created a prefab of my particle system. Yeah, I will just reinstantiate it here. Yeah, so uh, I want to explode my projectiles when it hit this uh, long panel. Yeah, this is, uh, I assume it as a ground, then if you re remember from our previous uh, course, yeah, uh, we have all already given the ability for the players to shoot uh, projectiles from the card. Uh, when the projectile hits this ground, then uh, I will create this explosion. Yeah. Uh, you can create your own explosion uh, if you want, or if you uh, want to follow along, then this is my settings. Yeah. Uh, my duration is only a half of a second. And then the start lifetime also a half of a second. Start speed of 20. Start size of 8. Graffiti modifier of 4. And then uh, max particles, uh, you can just leave it uh, 1000. But if you want, you can reduce it. Yeah, because uh, after I have experimented, uh, my particles uh, number is less than 20. Yeah, so if you want, uh, you can reduce this to only 30 or even 20. Uh, stop action, still destroy. The emission is uh, 30, but as you can see, uh, the maximum number of particles is only 20. Yeah? So I think I will also reduce this to 20. Oh, uh, it creates uh, less particles now, so okay, I leave it for 30 and then the shape is sphere with no change to uh, any properties here color over lifetime something like this Yeah, uh, I have not modified my alpha, but my color is uh, something like this in the 0 and then 50 and 100 my size over lifetime, uh, I use a simple a linear curve, yeah, decreasing curve from 1 to 0. Yeah, so that's uh, my settings. Uh, let me check again my uh, prefab here. Okay, so my changes are only applied to uh, this game object, yeah, not the prefab itself. Okay, let me check it um, for a while, make sure that everything is correct. Okay, yeah, uh, I am satisfied with this explosion effect. Yeah, uh, remember to create the prefab, uh, you can just simply drag the game object or the particle system from your hierarchy uh, onto the assets. Yeah, here uh, I have created a new folder uh, effects. So uh, all of my particle systems will be stored here in the effects folder. Yeah, I will delete this game object because I, I have already created the uh, prefab. And then let's say, okay, uh, I will remove this uh script first yeah uh, it is no longer used for me okay uh, i have some leftovers here uh, let me remove it first yeah so we start in the same uh state yeah Okay, I think that's all. Yeah. Uh, so far, we have five scripts. Yeah, the car movement, uh, the move itself, the projectile shoot, and the tree generator. Yeah. Uh, we will modify the projectile script. 
yeah so that when it collides with this ground yeah then uh, we will instantiate the particle system and destroy the projectile immediately yeah okay so uh, please open your projectile script and then uh, to actually detect the collision between two game objects yeah uh, there are two methods yeah the first one is called on trigger enter and the second one is called on collision enter yeah basically uh, these two methods detect uh, if this game object collide with other here here but uh, there are uh, a basic different difference between on trigger enter and collision enter yeah so uh, what is the difference uh, let's take a look at our projectile which is the projectile uh, prefab here and then take a look at the sphere collider component yeah for for other game objects uh, maybe it's not sphere collider yeah so for example here uh, in cube it is called a box collider for cylinder it is called a capsule collider yeah uh, at least the name is collider yeah please check the collider component and then check uh, whether or not it is a trigger or not yeah so uh, if uh, any of the object is actually a trigger yeah which uh, specified in the collider component and its trigger is on then the on trigger enter will be invoked yeah but if uh, none of them are triggers then on collision enter will be invoked instead yeah so uh, there is the basic difference between on trigger enter and collision enter yeah it depends on the is trigger property on the collider okay uh, because my projectile is or has the is trigger property on so i will use on trigger enter instead yeah uh, and i will check for the other game object here yeah which collides with my projectile uh, i will simply check the name of my of the other uh, collider yeah if the name is ground then uh, i will instantiate the explosion yeah and immediately destroy my projectile yeah okay let's do that so uh, i will check here if other dot game object dot name is equals with ground i will uh, instantiate the particle system or particle effect yeah if you wish and then destroy this game object yeah to destroy this game object immediately just call destroy game object yeah uh, to instantiate the particle system just use uh, instantiate yeah but as you may have recalled uh, the first argument needs or requires the game object or or the prefab yeah so here uh, let's add another public field yeah but this time uh, instead of game object we will just use a particle system instead explosion uh, explosion prefab or explosion uh, particle system yeah uh, i will simply call it uh, explosion yeah or maybe explosion particle system oops sorry 
Yeah, I will call it explosion particle system. So, uh, if I want to instantiate it, then use the very same uh, principle from instantiating the projectile. Yeah, the first argument is the explosion particle system. Uh, at which position? Yeah, where? Uh, this dot transform dot position. Yeah, or you can just omit this. And then uh, using word rotation, uh, you can simply use quaternion dot identity because uh, we don't want for the explosion particle system to be rotated. Yeah, although uh, my particle system is actually sphere. Yeah, uh, it does not resemble any effect if you rotate uh, any sphere. So I will leave it to quaternion dot identity instead. Okay, then save this script. Uh, wait for the Unity to compile, and then modify your uh, projectile prefab here. Yeah, because at the projectile script, we need to uh, specify the explosion particle system. Okay, uh, if you uh, have uh, difficulty to uh, specify this uh, by dragging. You can instead click here, yeah, at the small circle at the right hand side of uh, the property. Click it, then uh, you can search for your uh, particle system here, which uh, it does not detect any. Okay, yeah, so we will use uh, drag and drop instead. Uh, we can also open the prefab. Yeah, uh, momentarily. Then uh, we can drag and drop this explosion uh, particle system to here. Okay, after modifying, then we can go back to our scene. Yeah, click here. And that's all. Uh, I will save my uh, scene first, then let's try it. Okay, uh, I won't move my car here. Uh, and then let's try uh, clicking here. Now, as you can see, uh, when uh, my projectile hits the ground, yeah, it will disappear and be replaced by the explosion particle system instead. Yeah, but when it hits uh, another object, then it will not explode. Yeah, if you want, uh, you can create uh, as when your projectile hits anything that it will immediately explode, okay? Okay, uh, I think that's all. Uh, to instantiate the particle system, yeah, as you can see here, the code is the very same with instantiating a game object, yeah. But instead of uh, fitting the prefab yeah now uh, you fit the first uh, argument with the particle system itself yeah okay so uh, that's all for this video yeah i hope you enjoy it if you have uh, difficulties or have further questions please ask it, ask it in the comments below or uh, you can now uh, reach to me via the Google Hangouts uh, group chat. Yeah, uh, I will see you in the next video as well. Yeah, goodbye for now.